Anyway, today is Tuesday. I want to call to order the Quasset Sidewalk Committee meeting. Today is Tuesday, October 17th. It is a little after one o'clock in attendance are myself, Jay Pimpari, Bob uh, Mulhall, Julie Rollins, and Frank Cicchetti. Carol Rowe from the town is also with us, and uh, unavailable are Brian, Paul, and Tori. The first item of business is uh, topics not reasonably anticipated within 48 hours. Does anybody have anything they want to bring up? And you can circle back to it, but it's on the agenda. No? Okay, great. The approval of minutes. Uh, I kind of lost track of this. As you can see, I'm uh, in the hospital still. So I forget where we... Carol, do you have a date? And then we'll just approve the minutes of what um, the last meeting was or any minutes that are outstanding. And sure, we'll, let me just, take a look. we'll get those approved. Oh, Julie, if you know off, off the top. Um, I don't, but I can find them. All right, we'll, let, we, we'll circle back to that. Okay. The next item of business is the update from the DPW. <clears throat> Brian, unfortunately, is not here. I did speak with him this morning. He's in Boston all day with some litigation for I don't know what, but nevertheless. So as you've if you've driven down Elm Street, you know Elm Street is being uh, done over. The uh, pavement has been milled out. It's then the rough course has been laid. That is not the final course that's not what it's going to look like in the springtime a final smoother course will be applied to that whole area just need to let it sit for the winter brian told me that the uh, curbing crew is going to be coming in later this week and so the curbs and the sidewalks will all be done starting later this week going into next week as well so with any luck in the next two weeks or so uh, that project will hopefully be wrapped up. And then uh, the um, striping would just need to be done. I've stressed to Brian on several occasions and again today that we want to talk to him before he starts putting in all of the roadways and, and the uh, striping, et cetera, regardless of what it looks like. And it's going to be fairly minimal uh, for the <clears throat> for the fall. It will be completely changed with the uh with the final coat that goes in the springtime so if you see something like hey i thought we were going to put a bike path in there or hey i thought we we're going to put a walking path in there don't sweat it in the springtime it will be what it finally looks like so again don't sweat what it looks like it's kind of just a, a patch job really no pun intended here to just get us through the uh the fall and the winter and the other roadways uh smith place and Cushing all seem to be coming along uh, pretty well as well. So that's really it for as far as what's going on there. I guess the next steps are, and yeah, thank you to, uh, for, to Julie for participating and Frank for being my uh, sidekick there at the meeting a couple weeks ago for uh, helping out when we did the dog and pony show for the public. I think it went very well. There were some questions about the public roadway versus private and some others that really didn't have anything to do with uh, with our committee, but nevertheless, great questions. And, and they may come up again at the town hall uh, discussion, but we'll leave that up to others. But overall, I think it went very well. There was a lot of, got a lot of good feedback. I don't see any issues uh, and hopefully, fingers crossed that, that this passes. So, which leads me to November 13th. I'm sure there will be a big push and a lot of stuff out on social media about uh, getting out to the town hall to vote. There are going to be, in my view, probably a couple of contentious items. I, uh, I hope that they all pass because I know a lot of people put a lot of work into them, but I'm sure that there'll be some people out there and some small groups that will be questioning uh, every one of the warrants that are out there. So I, I don't, I haven't been asked to participate on the November 13th meeting. I'm hoping that it's a kind of a quick slam dunk and a vote and, and to improve the roadways, et cetera, but that's it. So, and then really that kind of sets the tone for where this committee goes. In my opinion, after that, are we dealing with the million dollars or are we dealing with the 1.8? million dollars and if we're dealing with the million dollars there seems to be a big push to get south main street done and if that's the case then it still sounds like similar to elm street 
South Main Street will take up a good chunk of the monies, but I know we have our kind of earmark projects like, and I might screw this up, like the Pond Street extension or the Pond Street or that little roadway out there that I think it was a 2022 project or 2021, whatever it was, but rest assured that project will get done and thrown into the mix. And hopefully we have extra money so that we can bring forward the 2025 projects into the 2024, et cetera, and, and kind of, you know, talk amongst ourselves on what gets prioritized. So that's how I kind of see things laying out. Um, and of course the Excel spreadsheet, which uh, I know I'm, I'm behind on myself, need to upgrade and, and get that going. Uh, I think that will be a focus that we can continue to work on as well. So it's really about all, all I had. I just wanted to kind of update everybody uh, on, on that. So I guess I'll just stop talking for a minute and open it up to questions. If anybody Jay, has. The, I'm sorry, the meeting minutes were for September 26th. September 26th. Okay, great. And those are the only ones that are outstanding? Yes. Okay, great. So I will uh, make a motion to approve the minutes of September 26th, 2023. Do I have a second? Second. Oh, second. Yep. Second by Julie Rollins. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Great. That passes 4-0. Thank you, Carol. You're welcome. So I think uh, unlike any other committee I've ever been on, we are fully up to date on all of the, the minutes. So Thank you, Carol, for getting those out in an expedited manner. Yeah, uh, thank you, Carol, so much for yeah. all your help. You're yeah. welcome. Really appreciate it. Uh, so, Jay, do I stay secretary or do we want to let someone else be secretary? How does this Yeah, work? I think that's probably a good idea to have a secretary and maybe we'll put that on the agenda for the next uh on the as an issue uh, on the next agenda to try and find a secretary and you know maybe julie you can put a put a plug in here for for bob or, or frank if uh if they want to do it it's really kind of just closely working with getting the agenda out and making sure, making sure the minutes uh get sent out in an expedited manner and i think we've been doing a great job with that it's really kind of me holding it back just getting the meetings going when when it's on a Tuesday, it's kind of at a disadvantage because we've mm -hmm. got to get it in by Friday and town hall closes at noontime on Friday. And sometimes it's like 11 o'clock and I go, oh, shit, I forgot right. about the meeting on Tuesday. And right. And it's so far away. Like if you're thinking third Friday morning, you're thinking, oh, it's not till Tuesday. But yeah, yeah, it sneaks so, up quick. So it's really just sending a message to uh, or Carol sending when she's finished with the minutes, sending the minutes out, just taking a quick peek at the minutes. And she just showed you like the one pager. Uh, and there, you know, this, uh, we try, I am, I'm, I'm an advocate of keeping the minutes short and sweet. If people really want to listen to what happened, they can go and listen to the tape rather than have 83 pages of minutes. It really doesn't make sense to me. Um, so it's really just kind of, again, making sure the agenda gets out and the, the zoom link gets out and then making sure minutes are done. And so it's, it's a it's a fairly easy lift if you have a good team and we've got a great team in place. Yeah, yeah, so. I I agree. I would um, I echo what you say, Jay. Also, you just work closely with Carol to get things um, posted and and shared with the group, and it's very easy working with Carol. Yeah. Right. All right. So again, I don't have much more. I don't think there's a need to. I'm at a. a time crunch here myself i know you all are as well with personal and, and work items going on i've just the focus will be just on updating that excel spreadsheet and uh, what's today the uh, 16th 17th maybe we'll try and have a quick meeting before the 13th i think after the 13th will be the best time to really start thinking about uh prioritizing things mm -hmm. um again brian seems to think that uh I, as we all know south main street needs to be paved i guess there's a, a water line that needs to be installed in there sometime in the springtime so it might be a late project but it seems like that would be a project that would might eat up a little bit of our budget so let's fingers crossed that the ballot passes on the 13th of november so is that the difference jay between a million and you said 1.8 
Yeah, so the the town is asking for eight hundred thousand dollars to be incorporated into the stabilization fund, yeah. and I think that comes out to I'm I'm going to be off on this number, but it's either one hundred and ninety two dollars. The sidewalk portion of the eight hundred, well, the the, the eight hundred thousand is the sidewalk portion. I think that's a either one hundred and ninety two dollars per household based on a million dollar home, or a two hundred and ten dollars. Based okay. on a million dollar home. Assessment. I think it was 192. Yeah, I remember it being less than yeah. 200. So it's less than $200. So when you look at that, you go, that's not bad. No, but no. Then you've and got, think, yeah, think... then you got town hall and you've got the fire station and in you know, the fields. And so there's 250 for this, 250 for that. And then some people, what I, what I think might happen, their minds start going to the crunch numbers going, wait a minute, it's going to be an extra $1,000 a year. And but but look what you're getting back, right? Yeah. Right. So it is a lot. It, um, I do have one question for you guys about the uh, list, the prioritization list that we're all working on. I did include some private roads in my recommendations for paving um, because at the time I didn't know that they were private roads. Do you <laughs> want me to remove them or put or just leave them there in the list? I, from my understanding from Brian is that the town will not fund that. The town may pave it, but the funding portion of the payment needs to come from the owners or whoever lives on that street. Yes. Okay. And I actually, I have one question. You might know the answer. Let's say that road work happens on that street by national grid or the water department and national grid or wh whoever pays the town or pays somebody to have the roadway fixed. Does that money go to the town or does it go to the people who live on that street to use for them to pave their street? That's, that's a question I've been getting is, yeah. you know, that's, when work happens yeah. and national grid pays, where does that money go? That is a great you know? question. I, I, my, my, my personal feeling is that, similar to how like pond street the town excuse me the gas company is giving the town one hundred and thirty thousand dollars to do pond street right and lo and behold the reason they give them one hundred thirty thousand dollars is because it cost one hundred thirty thousand dollars so i i what 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 has been relayed to me and i could be completely wrong here but basically national grid says okay we ripped up this road how much does the road cost to repave? And Brian goes out and get an estimate and says, it's $100,000. And National Grid says, okay, here's a check for $100,000. And so none of that work gets done until the town receives that check. Once the town receives the check, then Brian can go out and, and tell the contractor to move forward. Yeah, so for public roads, that makes sense. And I wonder what happens with the money from National Grid for the private roads. Yeah. That's, I don't know. That's, that's a great, that, that's a question for Brian. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, feel free to email him, Julie. Okay. Cause that's a question yeah. I'm getting. And yeah. um, I do think we might get a little pushback. What I'm hearing is we might get a little pushback, not pushback, but people holding up our warrant item because they live on one of these many private yeah. roads. Mm -hmm. And their feeling is if my taxes are going up 200 a year on average, then I'd like to see that money go towards my private road, right? Which is what we yeah. heard in the, the town discussion. And right. what I've been saying is, well, we all drive on these very well used public roads and those are the roads that we need to repave. They're used the most heavily and that's what that money is going towards. And I support them in figuring out a way to get their roads become public. But I get right. I get a bit of a feeling that some people might try to hold up our warrant and say, no, no, let's do it all at the same time. And yeah. that worries me because um, we don't want somebody, we don't want this not going through because there's people that are saying, but what about us? What about us? And I find that yeah. that happens in town is something looks really great. And then people are like, wait a minute, but what about us? And then it ruins everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, and you know what? They 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 raise a good point. I'm fortunate enough that I live on a on a public road. Right. But I can I certainly hear you. And it's like everything else. It all depends on who shows up November 13th. Yes. Really. It, like with everything else, if you get all the people that wanted a brand new town hall for 27 million dollars, 
going in there and just because they are upset that they didn't get their $27 million town hall. And now they feel slighted because there is a different group that's now going to take credit for a town hall that's one third the cost. Right. You know, they're just, they, they will be that group there. Yes. No, no doubt, no, no doubt about it. And yeah. they'll, they'll probably be a group that uh, is not in favor of the ball fields because they don't have kids in town. So I hear you. Right. Right. Um, yeah. And I look at those roads like Windy Hill Road is a road that's right down the street from me. And again, I probably know 20 families seriously that live on that road. Yes. And I can't believe that that's that's a private road. I, it, it's shocking that it's a private road. I know. I know. But I know. that's that's I'll, I'll let the I'll let the select board worry about that. Yeah. But did, okay, you know, so, we won't have to worry about answering those questions. And right. Okay. Now, did, you did, if you heard Gene uh, talk, uh, Gene uh, Healy Dippold talk about that, I think it was, I don't know, the year 2017 or 2018, that yeah. private road versus public road thing was like a last minute uh, select board decision to, 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 to keep them separate and not include them all together for whatever reason. You can blame the five people that were on the select board in 2017. Right. Uh, making that last minute decision and they carry a lot of weight the five of them with making their decisions and they made that decision kind of behind closed doors with or at the 11th hour or at 11 30 at night as everyone was walking out the door to right. not revisit that so maybe they'll revisit that maybe they will i just don't want our thing getting coupled with it yeah i hear you right yeah yeah all right well thank you for humoring my yeah. questions yeah no problem um so I, I, you know, look at the calendar here, and and if if there's if it warrants uh, another meeting, maybe we could have a quick meeting before the thirteenth. I don't even know what day of the week that is. It's usually it's a Monday. Monday. It's a Monday. Yeah. Now. yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll have something the week before if I if 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 the need uh, arises, or and we'll just have it the day after and uh, it kind of decompress, and hopefully we have a larger budget than what we have now to work with. Yeah. Let's hope so. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Uh, anything right, else, Frank or Bob or anything? Just a, a quick question and thought um, about like getting people to show up, the right people to show up at the town meeting. Are we allowed to make signs, just like have a couple signs made that say we want better oh, yeah. signs, vote yes at town meeting, you know, just to get, yeah. just so people know it's, because if they're not checking the right Facebook pages or in the right yep. loop, you might not even know this is, that it's up. The issue is coming up at the town meeting. Yeah, it's not a conflict of interest or anything, is it? Uh, no, not at all. No, no. And and I think what would probably be even better served, unless you have, unless you live on like Main Street, is to post something on Cohasset One Four Three. Right. Yeah. And, true. And, and so I, I would probably throw something on there. I, I you you don't have to say you're on the sidewalk committee, and even if you right. did, it'd be totally fine. Mm -hmm. um you, you know even if because you know, we have that in on previous select board um you know uh voting etc but i think it's totally fine and i think you are going to start to see it and, and there, there will probably will be some people out there that say you know why do we need a new town hall or why do we need it there mm -hmm. you know stupid stuff there's no parking blah, right. so uh, by all means yeah i think that you know uh getting that message out would be great and, and keep in mind with the class of one, four, three, half those people that are more than half the people that are on there don't even live in Cohasset. Right. So it's people that grew up in Cohasset that don't even live here anymore. Mm -hmm. They say Cohasset's not the same and all that. Well, <laughs> what else? Is people too. They there. don't even live in Cohasset. So. Oh my God. And they have such an opinion. They have such yes, they are. a strong yeah. opinion. Um, and Frank, they have their own, they have their own that. political agenda. So. Right. Right. Frank, do you have a way to make signs? I think it's a great idea. Um, I'm trying to find something online like Vistaprint or something like that. Like I get a decent amount of traffic on Pleasant Street, especially school traffic. Um, yeah. And then we own a, a property on North Main Street. We could plop a sign out there. We get a ton of traffic by that. Um, yeah. And I don't know, man, lots of one nickels. We could put one there because there's a lot of, there's no sidewalk there, right? And a lot of people do walk yeah. there all the time. So just thinking, yeah, I, I can look into it on Vistaprint or, um, the Hassan signs. Um, I know him over there on um, on three A. I don't know if he makes like I'm thinking like you know the, the temporary kind of plastic sticking the ground signs. Right. Yeah. I don't know if he makes those, but maybe we could. Find yeah, by all means. Stuff. Yeah, no issues with that at all. And, and the big thing is getting getting people there on November thirteenth. Right. 
Do we know what? Uh, I guess we probably will soon know. Like what? I don't know. Are they are they the issues numbered? Would it be like the warrant yeah. number, this or that? Yeah, there'll be. I don't know what the actual number is just quite yet, but I okay. we will be. Uh, and again, they strategically try and keep everybody there till the end. So mm. my guess is if there are 17 Warren items, it's probably like 10, 11, or 12, or 13, somewhere in there in the middle to the end. They're not going to put Town Hall, you know, number two. Right. Uh, right. And then because everybody will leave after that. Mm -hmm. I guess but, we could just say, yeah, the signs could just say vote yes at town meeting November 13th. Doesn't need to say which warrant number it is because people would figure uh, it out. There may be a um, I think, you know, let me, let me look posted. into that. Yeah, I think that I think we might already have the numbers in place, okay. but let me just double check that. Oh, We're still a little ways away. Yeah. Yeah, Carol, gonna... do you happen to know when that when the town meeting warrant is published? I would think we'd get it in the mail, wouldn't we? I don't know, but I can find out. Yeah, we do, right? That's a good point. Yeah, that would be great, Carol. That would be really helpful. I I do oh. seem to remember receiving them in the mail. Mm -hmm. Um. So I'm guessing we get it pretty soon because you want to give people enough time to review it before the 13th. But I don't know, that would be helpful, Carol. Since you're there on the inside. I'm looking on the web page. it's not out yet. Not yet, yeah, okay. No, but I, I imagine it will be, uh... let me see here. Yeah, right, there's a special page here for it and I don't see a, it lists out what they are, but there there isn't like a single yeah, not yet. warrant article. Yeah. Okay. Um no, actually you can scroll yeah. down, maybe no. Yeah. It could be in no well, you know what? I would just it's it's called Road Sidewalk Stabilization Fund. Is that article eight is what I'm seeing here? But maybe those could get rearranged by the time they it could be. I was just on the special uh election town page. Mm hmm I don't know if there's if you scroll all the way down to the bottom there, it does list them out. Though I don't know if that's going to be the warrant number, but it is a warrant article. And then it's oh, article. yeah, look at that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. But you know what? I just have a feeling that this could change. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. You no, know, like we well, could write. I would articles. just put roads and sidewalks. Yeah, right. As long as people know that it's up for vote at the town meeting, they'll show up and figure out which article it is when they're there. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Roads and sidewalks, so just like similar to like town hall. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, good catch. I'll do yeah. some research into who can make signs and send an email out to the. Okay. And um, get some input on what they should say. Everything. Yeah, no, that'd be great. Yep. Nice one. Yeah, and I'll I'll throw in a couple blocks. I'll take one in my yard if you're putting cool. them out there. I got a lot of traffic going by my house. Right. Sounds good. All right. Any other? Uh... Anything else anybody want to bring up? I'll let you get back to the son's going to be back in the room. He's down in surgery and now it actually has worked out perfectly for timing here. Oh, that's good. I hope everything goes well, well Jay. Yeah, thanks. All right. So motion right. to adjourn. Yeah, second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, everyone. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Bye -bye. you guys.